luminescent is of magnetic nanoparticle this liquid nat uh, gas nitrogen directly attached here on the cone co cork is the hydrogen outlet this is a base three molar sodium hydroxide this side is entrance for nitrogen as between nitrogen this hot plate is for what to minimizing the heat rather than using direct heat this temperature controlling this thermometer these are the iron stands yes for holding the others like thermometer and the, the bullet for which containing base So black precipitate is coming now as magnetic nanoparticle. Chula. We are now doing our research in the Chularonco University, the Faculty of Science, Department of Chemistry here. Now I'm synthesizing the magnetic nanoparticle just yes, for the preparation of the terinary, that's combination with the zinc oxide and the biochar. Then we'll produce the terinary nano combination and we apply for the removal of what we call the leach here from the um, wastewater, for example, the leach, in our case, chromium and the other diclofenic uh, waste that's uh, what we call the diclofenic means this uh, pharmaceutical waste so we apply for different types of what we call the application as environmental uh, application here in our case now synthesizing the voucher the magnetic nanoparticle here for the removal of the chromium and the lead and the diclofenic here here it's black precipitate this magnetite, this combination of the iron 3 and iron 2, if they combine with 2 1 ratio, they produce the magnetite nanoparticle. So, just we are synthesizing now, there's almost the perfect what to call the uh, preparation here. The black precipitate, as you observe here, it is almost uh, from the light orange to the black here, that's black. Uh, precipitate or the black solution formation here in the what called this uh, luminary flux indicate that the formation of the magnetic nanoparticle here. So we produce by using the nitrogen gas that's as a protection for the what called the preventing the oxygen because if it is contact with the oxygen here, it may be oxidized to the iron uh, what called three that's iron two O three. So. To prevent this and to get the poor magnetite, just we must use the oxygen, uh, sorry, nitrogen medium that's of high pressure so it can push and just uh, it remove the oxygen inside here before just contact with the base here before the contact with this. This is a base, this one is a base here. Before it contact, just will purge with the nitrogen because uh, it can remove the oxygen from inside. Then after that, you can produce the poor magnetite here. Almost is 100% here. It's black here. So that's perfect. That's what I have seen on the last of our videos. Just you can see our videos that I posted before. That's the magnetite after it is synthesized. Almost it produced uh, what called the black most different application in the laboratory for example here different types of uh, bottles are here that's what called the polyethylene bottle for the uh, what called the 
shaking of our sample here. These are centrifuge tube for what they call the preparation or after we just uh, shake our sample, just we'll transfer here by using a micro syringe here. You can, yeah. this is a micro, this one is a, the one at the tip here. This one is a micro, uh, what to call the string, a micro syringe here. This one is the normal string, this micro uh, syringe that's used for what to call the passing or for filtration. Rather than using the ordin ordinary, the filter paper, just yes, we'll add our nano here inside this uh, what called the string then we'll filter because the pore size of this is almost zero it depends on the particle that you synthesize the nano particle almost this one is almost i think uh, it's around uh, 0 0.45 micrometer and there is also we have in lab 0 0.2 0.22 micrometer for filtration. This is very important for fast filtration here in the laboratory. Rather than using the filter paper, this is very uh, what called the clear and it can be avoid any what called the nanomaterial that pass into the solution and the latter during the analysis using what called the AS or uh, inductively coupled plasma atomic emission spectrophotometry. Maybe at that time it can be uh, damage our instrument. So this one is more uh, preferable in our lab. So we'll use these two. We add our sample here inside this range. Then we'll filter by this here and we'll get the perfect, what to call the filtered here. Then after that, this, for example, the solution, then I will transfer to this, uh, what to call the micro string. Then after that, I will filter by this here. If the pore size is around 0 0.45, in our case, it depends on the nanoparticle here. Then you can analyze by using any instrument or depend on your objective. This is our laboratory overview. This is for synthesis only. Other instruments like ICP, like SUV, we have another room. This is for the only synthesis or sample a preparation room. These are the chemicals that we use in the laboratory. This, they are arranged according to their, what to call the alphabetical and according to their properties, for example, some of them are, uh, they undergo what we call the reducing agents, so we can separate here. Uh, the other, according to their uh, name here. These are the other, this uh, liquid uh, solvent like ethanol, methanol are here. These are the secondary container, is under the secondary container because when they be spill at prevent or what to call it maybe prevent the, any accident so it's necessary to put under the secondary container here all of them depend on the properties of what to call the nature of the solvent that we use for example if it is flammable solvent for example you must use the aluminium based what to call the uh, secondary container, if the ethanol or methanol like that, you can use the plastic. So if it is reactive like that, we must use the, what you call the aluminum secondary container here. Yes, depend on the properties here. This foam hood here. Here, for just suck any, what you call the volatile material and remove it here. We are almost synthesizing in the Foam hood for safety, and always we must use the different safety material like eye goggle uh, or handy glove, the lab coats is all, the shoes all every time because the accident may be happen any time. So we must be uh, careful every time. The other one in our lab, just what we have here, different material of different uh, what you call the place, for example, the contaminated waste, for example, if it is contaminated with a chemical like that, we can store here and it can be 
uh, discharge or it can be uh, removed from the lab by safety lab group here. The other one is what called the glove here. The glove also uh, just we collect here like this and the safety committee can come and just discharge it or dispose because all what called the material or that we use in the laboratory have different property. Maybe one react with another. So in order to overcome this, we must follow all the safety rather than just always following or talking about theory. It's better to just follow this here. These are the oxidizing agent group here, like potassium dichromate and other like uh, silver-based material, sodium borohydride, potassium permanganate here. They, they are here. So we must be put them accordingly here. Thank you so much for your kindly uh, just attention. And thank you for what could like, comment, or ideas here if it is important, because if it is essential or helpful for you here. So thank you here. Uh, done today. Thank you.